the nest, let's see if it goes inside. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we saw a chick poke its head out there? Such pretty birds, these red bull oxpeckers. Bizarre coloration with that big yellow eye. So both sexes incubate in the oxpecker community. So both the male and the female will incubate the eggs. And they are monogamous. So These two are in a committed relationship with one another. Oh well, I think we may have had some good entertainment from them and as you may have noticed I do have something about birds and their nest sites so i always do like to show you the different nests we find around the property okay just a few minutes left asked how to differentiate between male and female oxpeckers and to be honest it's very difficult to tell they both look identical but what I will be able to tell you is that in the birding world typically the females are larger than the males so if you could work out that one of those two was bigger than the other then that in all likelihood would have been the female you would have noticed there's a tree across the road, hence our little diversion we're taking here. And just really incredible, this is quite a nice angle to show you. But this would have been the work of an elephant. Usually the mirror and the trees snap, but this one appears to have, or snap above the ground, but this one appears to have snapped and pulled out some of the roots a little bit below the ground. I wonder who the culprit was that did this. Anyway, it is a necessary form of destruction. Without elephants in this area, we would have a thick, thick forest. And it's the elephants, as well as the other herbivores, that all contribute to keeping this ecosystem as it is. And this fallen down tree will, in time, become a small microhabitat for other small animals also vital in the ecosystem. So, oh, there's a big log in the grass on the left that I'm trying to avoid. Okay. We did leave quarantine. He was lying up in the shade. We know where we left him, and we'll certainly follow up from there this afternoon. But sadly, we were having problems with the signal there, and we were also confident that he probably wasn't going to make a move anytime shortly. So we left quarantine lying up. And if we can find him this afternoon, that'll be wonderful because. Like I said, he was looking very hungry, 
And a hungry leopard is one that often can provide him entertainment and action. So, pretty nice. Maybe you will be watching quarantine hunting this afternoon. two minutes left and I'd like to say a very big thank you for joining us we've had a great morning and I speak on self on behalf of myself and Mark we both got to see a leopard two brothers and you got to see both of them which is great so really happy about that and all the other little bits and pieces that happen along the way they all contribute to the experience and let's just hold thumbs that we don't get any rain from the clouds that are building. And weather permitting, we also have the fireside chat to look forward to this evening. So that is something to think about. But again, like I say, the, the weather could prove to be a problem there. Anyway, from myself and Brian, a big thank you. And a big thank you to Alex and Control. And... Mark and Vim, no doubt, also say their goodbyes and thanks for joining. So, until this afternoon, when we will both be out again, both myself and Mark with Brian and Vim, have a good day or night, and we will see you later. Smart animals, they're curious animals. So uh, the venture animals are brilliant to observe because look at that they get little views like this. The natural behavior. I mean, you can see them doing things the way they would have done them anyway.
way down to here, which is a life flat again. You might say it's a bit longer now. 